את מריה שיגרונר היא שליחת חב"ד בעיר שרלוט, צפון קרוליינה. מרת גרונר היא גם המנהלת החינוכית של המרכז החינוכי של חב"ד בעיר. בשנת 1976, כתלמידה תיכון, נסעה ממישיגן אשר בדטרויט ללמוד בניו יורק. So rebelling against whatever the expectations were of a young Lubavitch girl. I had a very strong upbringing by my parents, and I was really close to them. I wasn't afraid of them. I wasn't worried about um, censure from them. And so I, when I was talking to my father one day, I told him how I felt. And I told him I was really a little bit not interested in, anymore in um, the restrictions that our life was demanding of me. He did not overreact. He'd not get upset, and he said, why don't you write a letter to the Rebbe? Tell the Rebbe how you feel. Ask for his guidance on what you should do. And I got a fairly lengthy answer, and when I got it, my father recommended that I report, write a report to the Rebbe every Friday to report to the Rebbe how I was doing, and this is what a teenager basically needs. Teenager needs somebody to stay in touch with and somebody to care, and pretty much for at least three or four reports, I got an answer every single time. that I send something in. And um, then after a while, the Rebbe weaned me off of that, but, um, but that's how he kept me on the straight and narrow. So um, the answer was, Amnam eina yadas she'etzel kol echad ve'echad yeshnai yetzerhara hamishtadel levalvala v'chol e'fanim ha'efsharim? Question mark, exclamation mark. Aval hiftachnu she'kol echad ve'echad HaKadosh Baruch Hu, he underlined twice, Aizra l'miskaber alav, u'bimeshach hazman tira, shekol hapituyim, lai haya bahem mamish klal. Al pizeh pashit, shebeim chas v'shalom, mipnei bilbul hayetzer, chaser pekiyim hamitzvah v'cholu, harei ze aveda v'hepech hasechel, afilu v'nefesh ha-bahamis, v'kal lahavin, asker al-atziyan. Um, and I lived with that answer for a while. I knew who the Rebbe was, and I knew the level of holiness the Rebbe stood at, and I knew um, that I was just a little this, you know, compared to what the Rebbe's responsibilities were and the amount of people that the Rebbe um, took care of. And the fact that he even cared enough to read my letter, that he wrote me such a thorough answer, blew my mind. I mean, that just took me a while to really just absorb and process. And just because of that right there, I felt I owed him to really uh, try to absorb that and see if that makes a difference to me. Just that right there. He sent me a very loud message. He didn't tell me anything new, but we all know that when you hear it from the Rebbe in a sicha or in anything and you hear it again from his mouth, it takes root. So that's what it was.